Welcome back. First day of school for a lot of kids next week. 30,000 of them will be heading to class within the Rochester City School District. And the district superintendent sat down with me to address some of the upcoming changes that could shape the district for years to come. What's the message that you're sending out to students and parents? We're a great, great school district with many opportunities for students. We've worked very hard this summer, as you know, with a number of schools that are coming back online. So we're excited about those openings. We also have a large number of community schools this year that have lots of partnerships with community agencies. What's your reaction to the possibility that more schools may be put under a receivership? in the district? Well, while we would choose not to be in receivership, and we certainly do everything we can to make sure that we are not in receivership, that designation actually provides us a platform to go in and make some substantive changes to the curriculum. When you look at all the charter schools and now the distinguished educator, is there a feeling within the administration that perhaps there's less control of the district? I think what we're seeing is an opportunity for expanded partnership. If you look at the fact you cannot run the Rochester City School District or change the Rochester City School District without an entire team, without the entire community. And we are working very hard and we're very pleased with the Rochester community's involvement with our parents, with our partners, with the agencies, with our faith-based partners. But having fresh eyes and having an opportunity to have those um, that have experience in other urban districts come in and just give us feedback, we see that as a benefit and very helpful. You took some steps after the Travion Rowe case, one of them being when attendance was taken, when parents would be alerted. What can parents expect going into this school year in regards to that? They can expect a very personal approach. Attendance will be taken in our schools this year within the first 15 minutes, and we will then be starting our phone calls to families after an hour. There'll be a combination of robocalls and personal outreach, but what would be very helpful to us is if families would call us as well. The superintendent also told me the district has refilled the many special ed admin positions they emptied last year. Dean Williams said the reversal wasn't ideal, but they're back on track. 